What's up, what's up? Welcome back to another Most Awesome Monday Tour. Um, really, I didn't think I'd make it this far. I think this is the ninth video already. Check the thumbnail, description, whatever this is. Um, so today we're going to be touring uh, Victoria Harbour, which is, as you can see behind me, influenced on uh, London. So I hope you enjoyed today. Let's get right into it. So I am going to be editing this in a second because um, pre-recorded I think these tours are about 30 minutes long and I don't think anyone wants to watch that. So right now we're going to be looking into the first entryway into Victoria Harbour which is the harbour. I guess that's what this place is called. Uh, the dock or whatever you want to state it. I put the name of the building outside on Main Street. Right here you got the map of Victoria. Uh, it's a square city um, with an, an attachment in the north side. Uh, that was a struggle to speak, but um, it's kind of exciting. What we got in here is just the dining area because you have the fish uh, place underneath. Finn's Fresh Fish, if you remember from uh, Mang Hai last week. Um, that's what the little store is, and it's kind of this little setup thing we got here. And then we got a little book here with the kind of sites that you can visit. Um, and then as we go outside, you are... Oh, so the doghouse, that's what this place is called. Well, you're greeted by two apartment buildings and uh, the signage for the main street. Right here, to your right, is Mary Lane and on your left is Main Street. Technically, I feel like it should be flipped. Well, honestly, a lot of these streets should be flipped, but I'm, I don't really care. <clears throat> so here we got the first apartment, and this, um, each building in Victoria that is habitable um, is codified with a letter instead of numbers like in real life. Um, so here we got nice uh, apartment building. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video for myself and go back to editing. Talk with you guys in a second. So I guess I probably should tell you guys um, the little fake history of Victoria Harbor. And so basically, um, let's say before the, the war between Myran and Shaw City, uh, uh, Shaw City citizens had already explored the cove, um, kind of like the ocean. Um, I ventured like far beyond uh, the uh, Shaw City and found that everything was kind of secluded into like this giant circular <clears throat> um, lake or pond. And it's pretty huge, almost like a sea. And so anyways, in this fake history, I put it where it's like, um, Shawlians already uh, colonized this area and and wanted it was ones that wanted to deviate from the from the place from the city and so um, when the war broke out and Shaw City was um, devastated um, bombs going off and everything and that's kind of like a metaphor or an allegory to um, my destruction of Shaw City where I kind of renovated everything. Um, Victorian, we'll say, in this fake history, um, came up to Shaw City to help support rebuild the entire place. And so, um, and so in turn, you can see little influences um, throughout the city. And so here we got the government building, uh, significant buildings in this town. Uh, a lot of them use soul lamp, lamps, lamp, lanterns, lights, whatever. And uh, just like in the past three cities that we've looked at, except for uh, Dune Town, which I actually just realized doesn't have a um, government building. Wow, that's weird. Um, Victoria has its own, but because it's part of the South region. Um, 
Victoria acts as a central government, a place for Acropolis, Winter Haven, and the Seawater Village um, just south of the little town. And so here we got the bank, and one thing I want to note out about this place is that, and I did not know this, was that Prismarine, like the, the walls, they change color from blue to green. And I thought, I thought I was going blind or like having vision problems because I'm working at a desk now a lot. So my visions, to me, it feels like it's becoming impaired. Um, but I did a quick Google search and found, oh, it does change color, like periodically. And so I thought that was kind of cool. And it's the only building to really change color. And so upstairs we got just like the workspace with the espresso machine, desks, offices, and it's really a cool bank building. Um, the only one in this world kind of like it. Um, and then here we got Luckingham Palace. Uh, I kind of like Pierre Palace. This one's um, a full-sized home. It doesn't have a backyard because it it's right on the waterfront, but it does have a front front yard. Um, with the gazebo and all that. And you'll see, I probably could have built um, a backyard, but I didn't, I didn't want to disrupt the pond there. And so you got trees and the gazebo. I mean, I'm being listened to right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down the pace of this video. Okay, so let's go inside. <clears throat> Almost identical, you got the library to the left. The kitchen in the center and the living space on the right and a little exit to the gazebo. Very cool. Mm -hmm. a refrigerator, kitchen with the with the blast furnaces. And then here's something um, not that's not unique, but if we go into this storage closet, there is a City, or yeah, Victoria Harbor, and then we got Seawater Village here. This one's kind of like based on the Caribbean Bahamas kind of themed houses, the cabanas. And then over here we got Winter Haven, which is you take from like a railway to get there. And then it stretches mostly because it has homes. And then we go into Acropolis, which is. Um, kind of like Victoria, built on a square, and mostly skyscrapers. Very tall compared to other buildings and cities we've been to already. I am scared. Hold on. Okay. I think, I, I think I'm safe. <laughs> just kidding. Alright, I don't know why I do that, but... Here is just the two bedrooms on the second floor. This is the, the king's bedroom or queens, or whatever. Uh, very purple, because purple is uh, based on, well, purple symbolizes royalty, so that's um, what went into the color decisions there. And then here is the sewage, um, and actually, uh, this was going to be the resort kind of area when I originally was going to build on this land, because it had the lagoon in the center. And so it stretches, um, you'll see real quick, it stretches across and under the uh, factories. I, don't, I think we toured the factories, I can't remember. Or we'll just take a look at them pretty soon. No, we toured them already. Anyways, um, just another grocery store. And here's the train station. And yeah, it's under construction, quote unquote, because. Um, the whole point of the South region was that it's always going to be connected by railway, um, but given the landscaping of this area, I might put that on pause. So then we got Hy so we were on Hyder Street, and then this is Luckingham Park, 
and the street that stretches all the way to the landmark is Luckingham. Ironically, not on the street where the palace actually called Luckingham is. And just to show you something quirky, this house, um, the backyard, we kind of English style, small. So the house has apartment, an apartment built right on top of it, connected to the ones next door on top of the grocery store. So here we got a giant, this is probably the largest apartment building I've built. Um, it stretches basically half the entire street. In the back in the courtyard is a nice little restaurant um, covered by trees, vines. That's actually the fire escape. We'll go see that in a second. And then here is the in indoor dining area. And I don't know if you remember from last week, I said, or the two weeks ago, the ceiling was made out of leaves and stuff. So this that was the uh, place that I was telling you about, about way back then. You probably forgot about it and it's a very minor detail. Um, going into the apartment complex, you would think this first entrance door would be to the elevator uh, ladder kind of thing, but that's actually just an empty storefront or office room. And then to your left is the actual building or apartment complexes, and um, there's about four, three levels of um, living space here. Um, this is actually a, a sizable build for me, and actually the layout made it kind of confusing to put the kitchen in, but in the end, I guess it, it works. I'm not really sure if it does, but got a nice view out from every angle of the building, because basically there's windows everywhere. And then, this is weird, you have to access the patio through the bedroom and the bathroom, so kind of odd, but you can see everything from a mile away. Or a mile block away. And then down the, es the fire exit, probably the fastest route if you don't want to um, use the traditional exit. So down Luckingham Street is Little Bunny, and then we already saw Main Street mostly. Uh, this is just a little um, balcony, or what do you call these, like um, pit stops? I know that like typically they're around mountains when you're going up. Anyways, I put one here because I thought the view was kind of cool. Uh, to the left was the smallest building house I made. Um, it's like 4x4, four four, probably a little bit bigger than that actually. And Little Bunny, there's the little reactor. Actually, it's just the, um, the beacon activated with diamonds. And then there's probably, I think there's like three stained glass that make, that emit the, it's kind of like a beige's color. Um, right now it's really yellow, but once you go outside, you'll see it's kind of beige. And at the top of the tower is just a lookout. And honestly, I'm thinking I probably should have made it a lot bigger, but um, for how much I've done in this town and stuff, I think it was appropriate size, especially since the, the beacon you can see far away. Now this is just the Ritz Victoria, kind of play on the Ritz Victoria. Uh, Carlton, just a hotel, um, <clears throat> and I think that is most of uh, Victoria. A few of the buildings that we didn't tour were the bookstore and the Lyran Realty Co. And there's also a pub, um, like a bar kind of area. Um, no, it's kind of cool, but it used to be a house, but I don't think it was tour worthy for you guys to see. So we're going to move on to Seawater Village uh, next week, and wow, look at that, it's a little turtle. Remember in the Doomtown video, I, I couldn't even stand on it? I think this was the reason why I thought I could stand on turtles in the water. Okay, well, it was a lot of fun, thanks for all the support, um, even though I think there's only like 12 of you who really watch, I don't know. So thanks, give it a like, subscribe, and peace, peace. Thank you.